Alfonso, thank you for sitting down with Yahoo Movies. Thank you. Um, even astronauts themselves who have spent significant time in space are praising your film for capturing the absolute realism of what it's like to be in space. How do you go about doing that? I assume you've never been there? Not sober. <laughs> Uh, but uh, <laughs> that was the intention of the film <laughs> to do a, a photorealistic rendering mm -hmm. of um, of space the way that we're used to see uh, things like the the IMAX documentaries. Mm -hmm. So um, and that was a big challenge to do because um, we didn't want it to look like a science fiction or comic book kind mm -hmm. of rendering, mm -hmm. but something was photoreal. Mm -hmm. And also, other thing we wanted to honor was the physics in zero gravity. You know, in terms of, of lack of resistance and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, 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 and spinning and floating. I mean, you guys were essentially operating Sandra at times like she was almost a puppet. How, how did that work and how comfortable was that for her? No, for her it was horrible. <laughs> Uh, and we were aided, in that specific technology, we were aided by the puppeteers who did uh, War Horse on stage. Mm -hmm. And they were, wait they were helping and aiding Sandra. But uh, um, that was just part of, of, of a series of, of technologies that we were using. Um, and, and at the end, you know, all of these visuals and all those beautiful rendering that uh, achieved by the visual effects people wouldn't mean anything it, uh, without the amazing performance of Sandra. Houston, this is mission specialist Ryan Stone. I am off structure and I'm drifting. Do you copy? Yahoo!